What's up legends? I know we have an automaton major order to fight right now, but as you may know, today Helldivers 2 has released a huge balancing update which has touched upon the arc thrower and a lot of people are left wondering whether the changes done to it are enough to kill the weapon's thriving potential against the Terminate faction. And so today we'll be testing the arc thrower with its new changes to see how hard it has fallen off, if at all. Uh, so we're going here into the Fori Prime, uh, which I believe has uh, extra cooldowns and the map is obscured by the bug spores. And we're going to be bringing in the classic most powerful loadout that I tend to bring when I'm using the Arc Thrower, which is going to be, of course, the Shield Generator, the Arc Thrower. Um, well, I'm blanking out here. Uh, sorry, no, the 500 kilo bomb and the orbital rail cannon strike combined with the stamina enhancement. Of course, the scout armor set and we change out of the scorcher because we were fighting the bots onto the breaker and onto the impact grenade instead of the stun grenade. I had my setup all confused there. I couldn't remember what the loadout usually is because I have been using the quasar cannon a lot more recently. I think it has... Uh, dethroned the arc thrower even before uh, this update and I suspect this update will make it even more so the best choice over the arc thrower so we're going to be bringing here the arc thrower of course do a generator pack and we spawn right next to a CF artillery and a radar station which is fantastic which by the way brings me reminds me Someone commented uh, the other day asking how come I often land next to a lot of side objectives. And as I have mentioned in a couple of videos before, one thing you should know is, first of all, the game always shows you one side objective, right? And one thing you should know is that the game always kind of bunches them up. It always bunches up like two to three side objectives all together. So if you spawn on the side objective that it's displayed, Odds are you'll also kind of spawn near the, you know, two more side objectives or so. I hear the first bug breach. Let's get some distance here and let's put this bad boy to use. So now we have to charge the arc thrower fully every shot. We can't quick shoot anymore, which uh, already feels very slow. But I'm just wondering here if it's going to be enough to actually get overwhelmed. So far, it seems to hold the line just fine. I think it's going to be more of a big deal when dealing with chargers rather than the, the groups of enemies. It seemed to handle a group of enemy just fine. That was a small sample size, though. Oh, okay. Okay. You guys see that? So the arc thrower now has an increased stagger. And I don't know if you guys could tell there, but the, the charger was actually charging much slower as I shot it because it kept getting staggered back. That is that is interesting. That is interesting. Slow down the charger quite a bit there. But basically what I think it's going to do is you're going to kill chargers you know, a lot slower. But it might still be just as good for dealing with charges because now even though you kill a bit slower, you do stagger them pretty heavily. Against the little guys, it's pretty much the same thing. The stagger doesn't really matter because you get them in one, one shot anyways. But I'm definitely feeling the, note, uh, the difference between fast shooting and this new style of shooting, which has to be a lot slower. One second between each shot. Let's see if I can kind of stagger this charger here. It just seems to be walking up to me. I'll dare to say it actually might be even stronger against Brute Commanders. I seem to hold that Brute Commander back pretty well. Let 
I already got two chargers. See? Look look how much slower their charge actually are could actually is because of how much I keep staggering it back. That that is interesting. That's not bad. It might indirectly help group play a lot too. Because uh you'll be kind of staggering the, the chargers, you know, you'll you'll be keeping them back. Which could lead to less team kills since the chargers will be further back uh, rather than being grouped up on top of your teammates and you end up accidentally killing them with the arc thrower. So an increase in stagger here may make sense and it may be quite useful for team players. Which may see a little bit less of team killing since people are not going to be spamming the arc thrower as nearly as much. And it actually does a fair degree of crowd control. As you can see here, look how far back these brute commanders get tossed. The crowd control, it definitely feels quite good. It just kind of, you know... It pretty much just is a decrease to DPS, but the crowd control remains just as powerful, if not more powerful. You just kill enemies a tad bit slower. Also, we have the expendable anti-tank here. Oh, that was a, a orbital rail cannon killed in one one go. That's pretty good. Oh, you have the expendable anti-tank here because it's given by the game master. I'll try not to use it too much in this game. Only only occasionally. If I can reach back this arc thrower, you know what? Oh, I missed it. Hit his shoulder. Dang it. We got a couple of expendables here. I might pick one of these up. Finish off this damn charger. See if I can get him stuck here. Oh, no. I'm out. That is a lot of little bugs. I do think it is the era of the Quasar Cannon. Previously, I'm out. before the Arc Thrower era, we I'm had reload. the Railgun. Then we had the Arc Thrower. And now I think Have Quasar Cannon is going to be the top dog for uh, bug solo play. Maybe even grouped play as well. Since you're much less likely to team kill with the Quasar Cannon, and you can control all of the heavily armored enemies much more easily with the Quasar Cannon. Okay, this guy's just gonna sit there. It's fine. They only take six shots, so no, uh, no hidden nerf there. Still pretty good. Six shots once every second. That's six seconds. Probably a little bit more than that. And that's a charger kill. Tactical Assuming you get a clear six shot, of course. That's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Fast way of dealing with chargers. So far, I haven't noticed anything. Nothing drastic. Still amazing at dealing with those, especially with those medium bugs. Smaller bugs are going to be a bit of an issue, I think, uh, once you go into those pouncer planets with lots of hunters and lots of pouncers. I think oftentimes you'll be better off not using the arc thrower and actually just using a primary weapon. As you may not uh, be able to shoot your arc thrower fast enough, get rid of those dozens and dozens of bugs just jumping on top of you. As always, I'm going to be going here, main objective, side objective, as well as a full extraction. I'll also be getting 
more samples in this game. Just realized I still need a couple of ship modules to finish. I don't know if you guys... Have you guys finished all your ship modules? I still got a, a few to finish. The sentry ones. I never use sentry, so I don't really miss them. I don't really notice that I still lack those. But the other day... I was using an EMS turret and I reminded myself that I did not have all of the turret uh, chip module upgrades. I still need to finish those. We'll be focusing here on getting a decent amount of samples as well. You see, so the range is been decreased, right? But look how far these bugs are. Still hitting them. I suspected that the 50 meter to 35 meter decrease wasn't going to be a big deal. And so far it seems to be true. And 35 seems more than enough. Let's see if we can hold back this entire horde just with the arc thrower. Gotta fall back here a little bit because of the little scavengers. get a bit overwhelmed I'll be honest it feels pretty much the exact same I wonder how much half charging actually took like the devs did state that now you have uh, to charge for at least one second before you shoot. I do wonder back then when we only had to half charge how long that actually took. Was it half a second? So like three quarters of a second? I do wonder how much of a difference we're actually talking about here. Gonna be getting here a couple of bug breaches. We're putting this weapon to the test. How'd you like to taste of freedom? It's times like this where you actually do kind of notice. <laughs> I could have just beamed the shit out of them. Strategy is still always going to be the same. It's just backtracking, backpedaling, and spamming out those arc thrower shots. Always trying to focus down those hunters, working down the priorities, and things should be just fine. We can handle these hordes, no problem. The only things we're really going to be worrying about here are going to be the Bile Titans. And of course, multiple chargers. But uh, we also do bring the Orbital Rail Cannon and the 500 Kilo Bomb specifically for those situations. When we're overwhelmed with chargers or, you know, we got too many Bile Titans for us to handle. Wow. Yeah, they, 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 wow. Yeah, they still got to fix that. If they fix that, the arc thrower is just fine. The arc thrower sometimes, I don't know if you guys notice what I'm talking about, but the arc thrower sometimes does not register hits. Not sometimes, like most of the times it doesn't register, not most, but a lot of the times it doesn't register hits. It's pretty RNG dependent on that. We got three charges here, which is why I'm dropping in the 500 kilo bomb. Hopefully, I got rid of at least one. It was a little bit worse than I anticipated. You see, it's not registering. Okay, register that one. It's a bit of a shame because it struggles a little bit with detecting the enemy when there are dead bodies in front or there's like small stuff like bushes or 
little poles. Seems to block the arc thrower detection. And it doesn't uh, hit them sometimes. Oh, all those went to his leg. Two more shots and down goes the charger. Come on, buddy. This battle titan is just minding his business, but... Fight me, boy. Get him stuck. Bam! He's so dead. I'm so ready for this. Boom! That's two battle titans down. Pretty good, pretty good. So far, it feels just as easy as it used to. Once again, if you just keep your distance from the bugs, constantly backpedaling, using movement to your advantage, the arc thrower remains just as powerful for handling these uh, big groups. Got a shrieker nest up there. Don't think I really want to walk into that. See if we can pop it from afar. The expendable anti tanks. Meanwhile, we grab here some free loot. Look, look how much he, he slows down with each shot. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I was able to get five clean shots on him before it even got to me. Got a group of patrol converging on my location. Ooh. Oh shit, the shriekers detected me. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. I think this charger is about what two shots to go. Ah! Got another patrol group creeping up on me. Oh shit! Focus down those hunters, boys. Keep the distance. You know, it's a bit weird because the changes they did to the arc thrower kind of feels like a nerf to some enemies and a buff to others. It really is just like a change. It's not necessarily... I don't know. I can't label it right now as a buff or as a nerf. Because you see, it it's destroying the brute commanders. Oh. Oh no, I had the fake stim glitch. I hate when that happens, when you click the stim, you hear the sound cue of you injecting yourself, but then it didn't actually go through. Yeah, I gotta be careful because these shriekers can one hit me without armor, or a rather shield. Oh, another expandable anti-tank, that's gonna bring me to there. Get my stuff back. But yeah, as I was saying, it, it's like a it's like a buff to brood commanders. It's just like a change to chargers. I wouldn't deem it as a nerf or as a buff. And it's like a nerf to hunters and you know large groups of little guys. Oh, look at that guy. It's coming out of nowhere. That's not gonna hit the hill, is it? No, it's not. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. Oh, fuck me. Incoming. 
That should do it. Come here. Where are you going? Over here. Yes. Good boy. If we can pop that shrieker nest from back here. Shrieker nests did get nerfed. The shriekers, they can't call for bug breaches anymore. And their ragdolls does less damage to players now. But I still think it's generally going to be a better idea for you to take them from afar. Oh shit. Back up here and get rid of this other bug breach. Is that? Yep. Yeah, that bug breach is just <laughs> spawning like on top of the hill. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I just get a freebie? Pretty sure I just got a freebie. I don't think that bug breach is gonna... gonna count. Oh, that's not working. Oh, it's not working. It's not juggling. Ah, oh, screw it. Just take a shot at this nest now. Come back, grab the arc thrower. Finish off this nest. Vendable anti-tank. That should be... Oh, we also got a spore spewer there, right? Okay. Let me just finish off this nest. Bam! Down goes the nest. Now we'll get rid of this spore spewer. Onto the primary objective we go. Here the high ground. Pretty far away, so... Gonna miss quite a bit. Might take me a couple clips. What I really feel bad for is the slugger players, man. A slugger nerf. Don't know what I feel about that. I'm personally not a slugger player myself, but I feel for you guys, man. I don't. Uh, I don't really think the slugger was in a in a state that it deserved the nerf. It didn't feel like that, like a super powerful weapon or anything. So I'm not exactly sure why the slugger players took an L on this update. Slugger to me seemed to fit quite a, a decent niche and it wasn't overpowered at that. And once again, it was a niche. It wasn't uh, It wasn't a great, well-rounded weapon. It had its times to shine. So any Slugger players out there, my heart goes out to you. We got a patrol group as well. Oh, oh, we got two patrol groups. We got patrol groups converging on, on us here. We get a hell, get the hell out of here. That was a pretty solid 500 kilo, I think. Charger has the high ground. Where are you going? Bro, Charger just has such weird physics in this game. He just flew up that hill, didn't he? Oh man, that's crazy. If I can finally finish off this. No, I shot his shoulder. If I can grab this arc thrower again. Oh, pop my shield. Oh shit. Auto climb, no. 
if we can get him clipped here on this rock. To do it. Oh no, he didn't get clipped. He just blew up. How'd you like to take some freedom? Ugh. Yeah, the arc thrower still has a pretty rough targeting issue. Look at that. Went to, you know, just a couple of shots there that went into nothing. I think once they do fix that, if they fix that, I'm not even sure. Oh god, that almost killed me. Not even sure if they're putting in efforts to try to fix the arc thrower targeting. But if they fix that, that will indirectly buff the shit out of arc throwers. Oh, that's clean. Good, good, good. I'm here. Super samples. Three super samples. All right. Liberty returns locked and loaded. But yeah, even though I don't necessarily feel like the arc thrower has been killed off, feels like they did a pretty decent job at a. a Attempting to nerf it here. They nerfed it in some ways. They buffed it in others. They just kind of changed it around a little bit. Uh, where the art thrower really shines. Let's shoot this guy in the back leg. But um, I think it's the Quasar Cannon's turn now. To really, really shine. Arc throw is definitely still a very, very viable choice. Very powerful one at that. Saw a lot of people on on Discord that were pretty upset about the changes done to the arc thrower. So honestly, as I came into this game, I was expecting it to be a lot worse, but uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I would say it's a bit worse off now than it was before, but ever so slightly. Just a very, very small bit because, again, it got buffed against some other unit types. And it might be better now against automatons due to the stagger. I wonder if it, if it will stagger uh, rocket devastators and units like that and actually get them off of their shooting stance, which may actually be a pretty good buff to the arc thrower. We've already gotten all the side objectives and we only need this final primary objective. It's one of the hardest primary objectives in my opinion since you call in for multiple bug breaches. I believe it's three to four bug breaches that you call here right at the end. Is why I chose this mission, by the way. It's the mission that I believe has the most engagements. ICBM probably being the one with the least fights. Unless you actively weapon. seek out patrols. may also be a pretty viable loadout to just bring in the expendable anti-tank over say like the 500 kilo bomb or the rail cannon if chargers are a constant issue for you and you enjoy the arc thrower still oh oh that's not good Look at that stagger. Woo! That was pretty close. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Have a taste of democracy! 
I mean, sure as heck helps to have a map as open-ended as this one. So much open fields for you to kite all your enemies and shit. Helps quite a bit. Oh, still got some on top of the objective. I thought that was all of them. Okay. Two, three. Four shots. Two more and down. Close the charger. Whoa. Damn. Dude's relentless. Oh shit, he's still coming. One. Boom. Down goes the charger. And it's blocking the passageway too. You see, so we can't hit people from here. So we gotta... Gotta be a way to come up here, right? Oh, okay. This will do, I think. Character's trying to slide down. Slide down. <laughs> Did that commander die? Yep. They fix the dead body targeting. Just imagine a world where our thrower shots aren't wasted. And it actually targets properly. This weapon would be like <laughs> so much better. It's already good with the shitty targeting it's got. Imagine with the proper targeting. Okay, so we got here the first bug breach. Let's see where they spawn from. Okay, there's one right there by that patrol group. And I heard something here. Oh. Had to be a charger. Come on, turn around. Oh shit. Hug the little hills to clip those chargers. They're made so much easier. What? Got a hell bomb here as well. Guess we get a bio titan. Be a pretty free kill. Oh shit! That one hit the uh, the dead charger. Strategy for the arc thrower remains the same. For sure. Putting your distance, focusing on those hunters while slowly poking at those chargers. And then you deal with the rest. Still very effective, as you can clearly see. You haven't been under much pressure the entire game. By also bringing in the. Uh, 500 kilo and the rail cannon to make sure that the bile titans don't apply any pressure we can actually play a pretty laid back game i can bug breach oh another charger come on this time of hunters I feel like that charger died with only five shots. Don't know why. I'm thinking of maybe testing out the anti-material rifle for bug play. I know it's going to be amazing against automatons. We'll probably use it against automatons as well. Try it again. 
due to the buff that I got today, which increased the damage on the anti-material rifle by 30%. And it was already a very viable choice. So I'm guessing it's an absolute beast of a support weapon now. Tried already the counter diligence today and it was pretty rough. Still pretty weak weapon. At least for solo player purposes, of course. Maybe for group play it would do better. But even then I don't believe so. That, I don't think I hit a single shot on that charger, dude. <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't going through at all. Jesus. The targeting is so rough. So, so rough. If only the arc thrower would actually go where we aim. Like, it'd be kind of nice if the arc thrower would offer this automatic targeting and then, like, a manual targeting. I would so opt in for the manual targeting. Get some, get some! Like whoever you're actually aiming at zaps that person or that bug or bot. And then it arcs to whatever is near it. That would be amazing. Pretty good. And that's... That's the mission. All primary objectives completed. All side objectives completed. Take on a couple of fights here and make our way back to the ship. But we'll be taking on couple of fights we're not too afraid here to test out arc thrower against as many enemies as we can oh yeah after pretty much playing the entire mission pretty much what i'm feeling like is the arc thrower is basically as efficient as it has always been, it's just a slightly bit worse when dealing with this right here. Dealing with hunters and, and little guys, it's a little bit less efficient. I would say it's about as equally efficient at dealing with chargers due to the increased stagger. That does help quite a bit. And it's actually better at dealing with brute commanders. So I don't know, after all, I think it's still a very powerful choice. I don't think it's going to be the best choice anymore. I think the Quasar Cannon is going to be the best choice. As you can use it to heavily focus down Chargers and Bile Titans. Oh, wow, that looked pretty cool. That Charger just did like a front flip. With the Quasar Cannon, you can use it to just mow down chargers, mow down bile titans. And you can use your primary weapon to just focus on the little guys. I think it's just going to be generally a better choice. Is he just... <laughs> he's just like standing on a platform. What the heck is it doing? We head up here at this point of interest, see if we can grab some super credits or something like that. At a minute and 30 and the extraction is going to be coming in and I'm going to be, of course, as always. Oh. What? Oh, they got rid of it. I did not know this. This was not in the patch notes. Another hidden update. The arc thrower does not 
break or container doors any longer. Well, that's oddly unnecessary. But okay, I guess we'll grenade it, no problem. <laughs> I saw that the slugger also got a demolition force reduced. Which probably, oh, we got a hell bomb here. Probably means it can't get rid of container doors anymore, huh? You know what? Come here. Let me show you something. I got a gift for you. It looks like a rocket and it's black and yellow. What? Just standing there. Come on, buddy. You don't want your gift? And maybe you guys do. Come here. Oh yes, another Bile Titan. Come here, let me show you. This the other guy didn't want it. Bam! <laughs> I love those hell bombs so much. All right, now we're gonna be making our way. We got a minute and forty here. Got to sprint all the way back to the extraction zone. Hopefully it's going to be clear and not overwhelmed with bugs. We got a decent amount of samples too. 17, 14, and 6. Pretty good. Maybe we can get that sentry upgrade. Oh, we got a bug nest here. That's pretty awkward. Right on my path. Hopefully these guys don't see... Oh, we got a patrol too. Not looking too good. It's weird. I play like the entire game not nervous. And as soon as I get to this point in the game, I get like super nervous. Even when I don't actually care about extracting samples, <laughs> I get super nervous. Is that just me? Do you guys get nervous too? around the extraction time. Maybe because we're out of reinforcements and one death is enough to finish the game. Oh shit, they're on to me. Okay, we gotta work them for 30 seconds here. Can I still bait them? I don't think so. I think they're on to me. Yeah, no, that motherfucker is on to me. Uh-oh. Please get out. Come on, 10 seconds. Bell Titan's coming. Oh god. Come on, Pelican 1. Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, am I making it? Okay. Oh yeah, the Pelican one smashes them, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, if there's Bile Titans in the extraction point, the Pelican one will just smash them. It just didn't look like it. Oh boy. So yeah, the Arc Thrower is still just as powerful. A little bit worse at dealing with the hordes, with the small units like Pouncers and Hunters. Probably... Uh, gonna do a little bit worse at those pouncer planets, but uh, it's still a quite a powerful choice for medium units Much better at dealing with brute commanders and about the same for dealing with chargers. So uh, It'll kind of depend on Player to player, but I didn't notice too much of a difference. I still think the quasar Cannon is gonna be the king of support weapons for bug play uh, So I do think that the arc thrower has officially been dethroned but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you've tested it out also isn't it so cool that you come back with lots of blood on your character that's pretty cool but isn't their blood like yellow is it red i don't know 609 kills thank you guys for watching the video i'll catch you guys on the next one peace